Shout out to Don Corleone six eight two on Twitter for ta- uh well not tagging me in the story but actually asking me did I hear about this story or by giving me this person's name, and this is gonna be one of the most another gruesome D and U. And here I am thinking that these uh these stories can't get any worse, but they do day by day. So in this picture you see a man by the name of Austin Stevens, and he was a Pennsylvania coach. And he was just charged with violently raping his infant daughter. You heard that correctly. This guy violated his own daughter. And I saw a picture of his daughter. And she's a beautiful little girl. She's going to need a lot of therapy. And this guy's going to need a lot of. That's all I'm going to say. Let me get into it. Austin Stevens is a Pennsylvania man accused of raping his 10-month-old daughter, Zara Scruggs, who sustained head trauma and later died. Wow. The Montgomery County, and I spoke too soon because I didn't know she died. The Montgomery County District Attorney's Office announced on October 6th the arrest of the 29-year-old Lower Providence Township man on charges relating to Zara Scruggs' death, including involuntary deviant sexual intercourse, rape of a child, and aggravated assault in others. Lower Providence police were dispatched on October 3rd around 10.40 p.m. following a 911 call for an unresponsive infant, according to the statement from officials. Upon arrival, they found the unresponsive infant and her father, Austin Stevens. Police immediately began CPR on the unresponsive baby, who was transported by ambulance to Einstein Medical Center, Montgomery according to the Montgomery County District Attorney's Office. Despite resuscitation efforts, she was pronounced dead at 12.12 a.m. Stevens was charged with involuntary deviant sexual intercourse, rape of a child, aggravated assault, aggravated indecent assault, endangering the welfare of a child, and related charges according to the statement. This case is deeply disturbing, said Montgomery County District Attorney Kevin R. Steele. And it's fuck Kevin R. Steele as well because he's the one that was gung-ho on going after Bill Cosby. It is hard to imagine this child's death being any more traumatic. Sexual assault on an infant followed by an action by the father to save her life led to her death. Stevens was unable to make the $1 million bail and was remanded to the Montgomery County Correctional Facility. First off, what what was he doing with a bail? I don't care if it was a million dollars and that he didn't make it. He shouldn't have had it. A preliminary hearing is slated for October 13th at 3 p.m. Now, I'm reading this off of heavy so you know that um, they do their five facts. The first one says Stephen's search history included what if you don't hear baby heart or beat. After investigators obtained a search warrant to download Stephen's phone data, they found that he conducted multiple Google searches for nearly an hour before calling 911. His search history included the phrases, if baby stopped breathing, what if you don't hear baby heart or beat? My baby isn't breathing. And how do you know if a baby in a type, he typed baby wrong, he put it BSBY, is dead. The office continued. Stevens also conducted social media and text conversations with two women during this time that were not related to the baby's condition. Zara Scruggs was the victim of a sexual assault. It says a diaper worn by the infant on her way to the hospital was saturated with blood. An October 4th autopsy conducted by Dr. Frederick Hellman, a forensic pathologist with the Montgomery County Coroner's Office, found that 10-month-old Zara was the victim of a sexual assault sustaining anal rectal trauma and blunt force trauma to the head. That was just, that was just numbing to read just that line. The cause and manner of death have not yet been determined. The pending additional test results, the office added. Stevens is the co-owner of Black Diamond Construction. His social media states, well, he won't be anymore. Stevens claims on Facebook to be the co-owner of Black Diamond Construction Services, which is located within 15 minutes of Philadelphia and King of Prussia, its website states. The company is a multifaceted construction company committed to providing the necessary services that will bring your company's project to fruition. Our company is fully licensed PA136422 and is insured and also staffed with skilled employees who place a great deal of pride in their work. Whether it be a demolition, general construction, laboring, residential remodeling, hauling, or cleaning services, no contract is deemed complete until you are satisfied. Local media reports that Stevens was an assistant coach for a youth football team. Knowing this and what he did to his own daughter, they need to check on those kids. Because I wouldn't be surprised if he touched, at least touched, one of those kids inappropriately. 
WPV1, I'm sorry, ITV reported that Stevens was an assistant coach for the Lower Providence Warriors football team. The Lower Providence Midget Football Association is the premier youth football organization in the area, according to its website. The Warriors are an organization that promotes youth football and cheerleading for children's ages 5 through 15. Several photos uploaded to Stevens' Facebook appear to confirm the claim, showcasing a 29-year-old posing with players and trophies. And the last point is, Stephen hails from Norristown and recently posted about uplifting other black men, his social media says. According to his Facebook profile, Stevens hails from Norristown, Pennsylvania, and attended Plymouth White Marsh High School. His relationship status on the page indicates he is single. On June 4th, Stevens posted a photo of himself in a suit with a caption about uplifting other black men. And I know what type of post they're talking about. Because on June 4th, there was this was like right after what happened with George Floyd, like a few days later, where you had a lot of people, especially a lot of black men posting on social media about the uplift, upliftment and empowerment, empowering and empowerment of black men. So I know exactly what type of post um, he's talking about. We are black men. Yeah, I know the way that it started off. I already know because it was the same viral uh, caption that most black people use. I'm not even going to lie. I posted the same uh thing as well on my instagram page it says we don't tear down other black men we have felt the pain of being torn down we have decided we will be deliberate about building others if i didn't tag you please don't be offended i try to pick people i thought would do this challenge all too often we find men we men find it easier to criticize others instead of building each other up with all the negativity going around let's do something positive upload one picture of yourself only you then tag as many brothers to do the same Facebook only allows 50. Let's build ourselves up instead of tearing ourselves down. Copy and paste. If I tagged you, don't disappoint me. He wrote all of that and look at what he did to his own child. What type? That's not a black man I would want to uplift. That's not a black man worth empowering. This guy brutally raped and murdered his 10 month old child. She did not even make it to a year. 10 months. Depending on how her birthday fell, her birthday was probably coming up in December. That is some sick shit. That's all I can really say. It's bad enough. Rape is bad enough as it is. But to do that to your own child and your child was only an infant, she didn't really have a chance at life. She barely was talking. She was probably barely walking. Her life was just beginning. and you and he took that away from her now i think they did an interview with the mother of the child and all she could say was that she is distraught and she has no words like she she cannot she can't believe what she heard no one could no one wants to believe something like that that's not something you would want to hear whether you are the mother or father of the child the deceased or if you are a family member, like, you know, a grandmother or a grandfather, an uncle, a aunt, a cousin, no one wants to hear that. I swear, if I had a, if I had a son and I found out he had a child and he did that to his child, I would disown him. After I beat the brakes off of him. Y'all let me know what y'all think.